So I just published a video that was prompted by a contractor who was very frustrated. His, his guys in New York are hanging his wallpaper crooked. Now, just showing you my laser level, I'm starting with my first sheet, and my first sheet needs to be plumb, obviously, right? And so, we're going to make it plumb. But hanging your first sheet plumb does not mean that the succeeding sheets are going to be straight and level. Leveling is a process that takes place throughout the installation, not just based on the first sheet. Because your first sheet may be plumb, but the forward edge may be crooked. And during this video, I'm going to show you how that's possible. And we will rejoin on the next frame. I highly suggest that you purchase this wallpaper and try to hang it. Uh, I'm not joking. So when is a bench trim? A bench trim is a trim that you make while the wallpaper is not yet installed on the wall. So let me show you what I'm putting underneath it. This is a zinc plate. And I, I want them to understand what is going on. Bring them in close, zoom in please. Now, come around here so they can see this. Can you see this? This is, this is bad. We have a black trim instruction against a black pattern. Not, not the smartest idea on the part of the manufacturer. Nonetheless, it's what we have. This should have been blue or yellow, okay? Because let's face it, this can be obscured as we go along. This is a Clay McLaurin. Now, I don't know if I mentioned that, Clay McLaurin Studio, and we're trimming this. So when I trim it, my cut line should be right against this, this trim line, okay? Now, you can, you can opt to trim this on the table, but you can also do it while it's on the wall. And I would only suggest you do that if you're off the wall. And then you could probably do a good job if you're off the wall. So, you would take a guide. Okay. Now, the problem is I'm not right-handed, so I'm a little aggravated. Uh, so, if you, if you take a look at what I'm doing here, I'm putting, let's just show them, I'm putting my, my guide right up against that trim, trim line. Okay? And I'm going to trim away. And let me just show them how I'm doing this. Again, I'm cutting up against the metal plate underneath. My blade is brand new, of course. And I'm going slowly because once you go off the beaten path, guess what? You got a problem. You got a problem. Okay. So now I'm right there. And I'm going to end it right there. <clears throat> and come up to my clamped. They really should run a trim line. This is why I really dislike this procedure. Because they, you know, you want a good product as a wallpaper manufacturer. You don't want your installer uh, despairing when it comes to cutting this properly. So wouldn't you agree that there should be a trim line every 10 inches? You know, because of the size of my wall, I'm missing a trim line. So there's a little guesswork here. I don't like it. I'm not crazy about it. 
Okay? There was some guesswork involved there. And, and uh, I don't like that when you're dealing with wallpaper that costs several hundred dollars a roll. Okay. Now yeah, we're going to move our wallpaper up. I have a very expensive wallpaper table. Basswood, the whole nine yards. I could, and this, this goes right against the edge of the table and you cut it. Uh, I don't know if it's the table, although it's my lightest table. So, we'll continue to do the cut. Um, I can tell you this, this is the most difficult wallpaper procedure, one of the top five most difficult wallpaper procedures, to get this cut right, okay. in my opinion. Now, it is the opinion of a man who was just uh, voted uh, unanimously, I might add, the best wallpaper installer in the state of Florida by my family and friends, and, and I, take great, I take great pride in having achieved that title. So, maybe my opinion means something? I don't know. So, let's do this again. Okay. Now we might want to discharge our blade. Yeah. I'm a lefty, so please just go around. I'm just going to do my thing. See, this is easier for me. This actually puts me in a better mood. But I think you understand my frustration when I tell you that it should have trim, trim lines more frequently Again, we're engaging in guesswork here simply because they don't put uh, enough trim line down the lines along the length of the paper. But that's how you do it. Now, please come on. What did we just do? We actually trimmed the wallpaper uh, the way it's done. Okay. 
So that's what we did. Now, we're ready. Let's go on this side of it. But we also have the other side. And so, my question is this. Why do wallpaper companies do this? I don't want to trim your wallpaper. You trim it. Send it to me, trim it. But this will knock all of your amateur wallpaper installers out of the box. Very hard to do because the wallpaper is so expensive. If you mess this up, if you've never done it before, and this is so infrequent, you get an installer who says, I think I know what I'm doing, and he does it. And then he makes an honest mistake. That costs the homeowner a couple of hundred bucks. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go on the other side, trim this the way you saw me do it, and then I'll install it. We'll see how we do it. Okay, let's go to the next one. So we're rolling out a taster on the back. You can use your tasting machine, obviously. But we make sure that we cover it very well. Now, just look on the side. When you come down close to the wallpaper, you can see any bald spots. And you want to get down close to the table and look to see that the light is shining everywhere on the wall covering. Not, and you'll be able to identify any places where you've missed. So now you guys are going to beat me up for this. So hear me out first. That's my first sheet. I haven't laid down the forward edge. Now here's where you're going to beat me up. You can do your bench press over there, which is what I just did. I'm going to show you how you can also do it on the wall. Now before you scream, you veterans, I can't believe you're doing this. You tell me, do I have a 12 foot table here? No, I don't have a 12-foot table. I have two 8-foot tables here. And so, what would you rather cut against? An uninterrupted 12-foot wall or an interrupted 16-foot table that has four panels, two of which you see in the screen to your right, and the rest covered by the wallpaper. Let me show you and you can choose for yourself how to do it. I left the right edge up so that my wallpaper did not get overly attached to the wall. I'm gonna make it workable by moistening the wall underneath it. And then, I'm going to put it down. I highly recommend that you do not purchase this wallpaper. I don't care how expensive it is, the color keeps coming off and it's not right. I say to the manufacturer in all sincerity, you have to get your act straight before you sell this stuff for so much money. And that's Clay McLaurin Studio. This is Palmetto. The pattern is Palmetto. Okay. So I've made my argument as to why I'm showing you the option of trimming it on the wall. Both ways are a pain in the neck. So now, by the way, can they see this? Do you want this wallpaper? 
be my guest. Okay? It's not right. It's not right. I'm a veteran wallpaper installer. I'm not an amateur. The ink is all over me, and I'm not happy about it. Okay. But of course, if you remember my video on reducing liabilities, I called the customer and I said, this is what's happening. Same procedure on the wall that we did on the table. Don't go too far because your wallpaper is not plum. It's almost plum. If you assume that it's straight, you're going to be off your trim point. Don't cut too much in any given section of, of individual stroking with the knife. Just cut manageable sections of maybe 25 to 35 inches. Just so that trim point, you see we're cutting it. And the point on that trim mark, you have to hit that same point every single time. You see that? You see I, I'm cutting off the trim line? You gotta keep hitting that. So it adds to the, the, uh, the difficulty. You can do this on the table or you can do it on the wall. Please let's move the ladder out of the way. I'll push card you. Okay. That's it now for you. Camera. I got the ladder. Okay. Just come in right behind.
Now here's the benefit. Remember before I told you that the company should give you more trim points? Now that I'm on the wall, I, I, I don't need those extra things. That's the benefit of doing it this way. I pretty much know where I am now. I don't need their trim points every 10 to 15 inches. Okay. To me, this is not the job of the wallpaper installer. This is a manufacturing problem. And for the life of me, I don't understand why I have to do this. Machines are better than human beings with cutting straight lines, right? Why are we doing this? I got no idea. But that's how you do it. Let's join our sheets and then you can judge for yourself how you want to do it. Alright, I'll see you in the next frame. Now, something that's super important is to assume that your wallpaper is crooked on the forward edge. Meaning, don't assume that it's a level. And just zoom in. Just zoom in. So our bunch, our bench cut is perfect. All right, that's not the issue. And and even if you're a do-it-yourself, you can do this. Just have patience. Where am I zooming into? What's that? Where am I zooming into? My hands. Your hands. Are... Number one, we're plumb. Our sheet is matching up, and it's plumb based on our plumb line. Do not assume. Can they see my hand? Let me zoom out. Okay. Do not assume that this is plumb or square or level. What you have to do is determine what part of the flower should be at the corner of the ceiling. I would like you to get in a better position. I don't like where you are. I don't think they can see great. Can they? Can they see great? Probably not. Can they see this? Uh, I mean, they can see your hand. Okay. Here's where you'll lose the pattern. Just take a look at this. See this? So you see this? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five leaves are showing. My fifth leaf is cut off. If you hang five sheets and this is a full leaf, five sheets down the road, you messed up. You are not keeping your pattern straight. So five sheets down the road, you should have the same leaf with the same cutoff. If you don't keep, think of this as you're hanging the paper, you'll be off 3 sixteenths on this sheet, 3 sixteenths on the next, add that up. That's more than a half of an inch, right? So you wanna make sure that Right, three sixteenths and three sixteenths is six sixteenths. Right, how many sixteenths are there in an inch? Sixteen sixteenths. Half, well, half of that would be eight sixteenths. You understand what I mean. You'll be a half of an inch off on one wall from the left to the right side. Okay, so I'm gonna do my, my uh, due diligence. My middle piece is here. 
and my middle piece is here. At the very top, I have this white line in the middle. At the very top of this, I have the same white line. And then on the far right sheet, I want to make sure that the same amount is cut off. So I have this and I got this. So there's little white um, characteristics in here. At the very top, you may not be able to see it, but I have a break on this side of the pattern, just below the ceiling. And when I look over here, I have to move it. I'm not, I'm not level. So that's what I'm talking about. I'll show you when I get over to the other side. I'm gonna line up my sheets and then we'll do the other side. Okay, I'll see you on the next frame. So you can see that the cut is as excellent as the first cut, which I did in video, but I did not do a bench cut on this piece here. I didn't do that. But you decide, I'm going to continue to cut it uh, the way you saw me cut it in this video because doing it on the bench is not working out for me. It doesn't give me uh, the longest strokes with the blade that I like. Every time you stop that blade and, and move your uh, metal piece underneath it, you cause a break in the cut, which may cause a bit of an inconsistency with the seam going down, down.